everybody said once we've got the euro currency it will bring us stability. Well, I would suggest a decade on, what it has bought is chaos, discord and misery for millions. That economic and monetary union will not last. And I'm not surprised, because it never was an optimal currency zone. One interest rate could never fit all these different countries, as German economists at the time said, should never have joined the euro, have taken away from them the ability through the ballot box to determine their own futures, then I'm afraid that violence becomes the only logical alternative. What you've done with this euro is you have trapped people in an economic prison, trapped inside the economic prison of the euro. Mr Broso, you said earlier we will stick to our course and that means millions of people in Europe will be put through pain as you attempt to keep together this disastrous project that is the euro, it will fall to pieces, of that there can be no doubt. And now we have the situation in Ireland. Now I know that the stupidity and greed of Irish politicians has a lot to do with this. They should never ever have joined the euro, they suffered with low in Wren here, said they had to agree their budget first, before they'd be allowed to have a general election. Just who the hell do you think you people are? And yet the word stability still being used this morning. Mr Barroso used it. Mr Van Rompuy used it. Stability. In fact, we're patting ourselves on the back. Assurances that all is well don't work. I mean, who do you think you're kidding, Mr Van Rompuy? Bond yields in Portugal rose to 87% yesterday. The public right across the union no longer support the currency. And the, you're using the crisis as a massive power grab to take us towards fiscal union. If you succeed, then we should change the name. Get rid of European Union, call it the Debt Union. You are very, very dangerous people indeed. Your obsession with creating this Euro state means that you're happy to destroy democracy. You appear to be happy for millions and millions of people to be unemployed and to be poor. Untold millions must suffer so that your Euro dream can continue. What well, it won't work because it's Portugal next, with their debt levels of 325% of GDP, they're the next ones on the list, and after that, I suspect it'll be Spain. And the bailout for Spain would be seven times the size of Ireland, and at that moment, all of the bailout money has gone. There won't be any more. Come in, number three, your time is up. Portuguese bond yields on Monday hit 7.6%. You know that yourself. Uh, it was only at 7%, of course, when it got there, that Ireland had to be bailed out. 2010 will be remembered as the year when the flaws, the deep flaws in the Euro project were exposed and when the public in Europe woke up to the sheer stupidity of their leaders. And so here we have, it's like watching a slow motion car crash. All centralised EU plans fail. Just look at the disastrous, ruinous common fisheries policy. It must be one thing or the other. It's either a full EU state that controls everything, or it is disintegration and back to national control. Sir, I'm not a representative. We haven't voted for you, and we can't remove you. So I think with this direct tax, you actually made a mistake. Because what this euro is all about, it's about a political class imposing its will upon the peoples of Europe. Remember, only two countries had a referendum on the euro, Denmark and Sweden, and both of them said no. The common denominator with this commission is the sheer number of them that were communists or were very close to communism. Mr Barroso himself was a Maoist. Sim, Sim Callas, far from being a student activist, was even a member of the Supreme Soviet. So a top-notch communist we have there. We have at least ten communists in this commission and it must feel any remaining traces of democracy from the system. And many people are saying, we don't want that flag, we don't want the anthem, we don't want this political class, we want the whole thing consigned to the dustbin of history.